This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. That means it hurt to make, and it was very personal. Welcome back to Let's Play the Beginner's Guide. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'm... Okay, just checking. I can't start the prison escape sequence by touching the table. The lamp was missing anyway. I feel like this is where the title card comes in. I want to say title card. Literally, the image of the game's logo on Steam is the words, The Beginner's Guide on a Stage. Hmm. <sighs> this has been a heavy journey. I write when I'm not making uh, videos, and I know what it is to write something simple that takes a while to get out because it's something incredibly personal, because it's something incredibly painful, or because... Because one of the difficult things about being a creative is that sometimes you can't put your problems into words. Which incidentally is especially annoying when you're a writer and words are supposed to be your kung fu. Jesus Christ. It actually startled me. Uh, 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 hi! In this scene, you'll be playing as me. You're at a gathering of professionals. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her. To gain something. To succeed. Go on. Say something to her. Hello? Hello? That's it? That's not a conversation. Do it again. I'm super, super scared right now. I like you or hear of all of my hopes and dreams. That's not what I said to her at all. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment. But I was confident. It means you need a better feel of the setting. There are a lot of people around us. I have some props to work with. These cones that bounce and you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again! Uh, what are some sacrifices you've had to make? No! Cones bounce. But if I, I felt like I would get yelled at if I got off the wall, my post. I haven't seen the three dots yet. I can't see shit. What is happening? Oh, I hate this. The game ends with this eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away, 
No. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very helpful when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. We don't know when in 2011 it ends. Uh, I am closing my eyes. I have opened my eyes. Ah, yes. Well, uh, help, I'm blind. I'm opening one eye. How's that? Whisper. Oh. Okay, I do know how to solve this one, actually. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't been. <laughs> it's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Switch, switch, switch. The only way to stop it is to speak something that is honest. What's going on? Like I said, I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Are you the tree? When I try to create, I feel empty. engine that used to create me, that used to protect me, to start it again. I need to see it to know why it stopped. I can take you to it, but there is if a problem. the last game featured Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, 
frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Because from my perspective at the time and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Was Coda you, Davy? Here is the puzzle. What do you think? Hey, I recognize this. Yeah. First, you have to open the door. I didn't press A, I pressed Y, so it's doing it now as I say it. Now you have to close the first door. Now just press the switch here. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. These are all the things I said. That was the Y deal, not the X deal for the record. Say that, you're, say that your work is fun and easy. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous and you love it 100% of the time. Sure, making games is easy. I don't remember having to go through any puzzle. I get it, that's a weird... These are things I could have said in other chapters that I didn't say. That's a weird thing to say to someone you just met. That's something I could have said to the guy at the cleaning table. It feels wonderful. But it wasn't true. Creation is not easy, my friend. I am constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. Uh. Seeing this game at the time that he made it, it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. Those aren't options, it's like so let's go in a row. Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. This is someone I really cared about, and I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. Any sacrifices made for my work are worth it 100% of the time. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so wrong. I just... I needed Impressive. more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. There was a woman on the couch. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. This is going to be where it ends, isn't it?
Ma'am, I'm glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quiet. Very good. If we wanted something called the someone called the press, it might have a bit of attention to this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. I feel like it's not a coincidence that it's that door, even if it isn't the puzzle. Will the machine answer for what it's done? Dots. And of course, it's the machine. You stopped. You stopped feeding us. people are there. Can you imagine what pain you've put them through? It's only because of your creations that any of us can make it through. Every day. How could we possibly go back to trusting you to do this job? As soon as it needs to happen, you need to go to the people who are out there and apologize to them. You have to admit to the people that you allowed them to suffer. I've been so alone. No? Nothing? Think carefully, I know how to hurt you. I have seen the thing you fear. Alright then, I will speak to them for you. My friends! It falls on me to deliver bad news. The machine will not apologize to us. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Let us show it that we are not failures. Oh no. Destroy the machine or destroy everything that the machine has created? Throw my bones under the pyre of eternity. But let my works stand. Remember, you can click to fire the gun. Isn't that what you're scared of? Exposed to the views of so others every day forever? And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's was... having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? God, I would hope give so. Him confidence in himself. Would it bring meaning back into his work? 
Which one even is this? There's the timer, but I'm gonna keep, keep, let it keep running for a while, see what happens. Oh god! So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great Not part moving. is that they really love these games. You know, the point of it all was just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Put down your weapon. I'm sorry. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something, Terrible. I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like, I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe all. didn't like Just themselves, fire. and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. The Tower. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Beginner's Guide. When we wrap up our journey through Coda's gaming history, see what ultimate conclusions Davy Reedon comes to. I'll see you then, Burning Dog fans. Later. Later.